Yeah, really happy for, for, for Ben and his kids. I know how hard they've worked over the last three years. Uh, um, and uh, the fans of Mississippi State, uh, that they're, every year I've come here, they've been incredible. And uh, uh, disappointed in our inability uh, to play offense in the second half. And that's been our downfall the whole year, turnovers and, and inability to, uh, to consistently play well offensively. Any questions for Hassani? Hassani, you were able to find some, some shots late in the ball game. obviously. It seemed like the floor was wide open for you. What were you seeing out there defensively from them? Uh, we were running pick and roll, and they kept kind of like hard hedging, so I would hit the slip or if they do it back off, then, then I would attack it. And if I had the open shot, I would take it. What did you see on that last shot of regulation? Uh, the guy that was guarding me kind of tripped up when we inbounded the ball. And uh, I think it was Q Witherspoon. He didn't know if he should take me or uh, I can't remember who was in the corner. I think it was Justin. Uh, so I did in and out and crossed over to see, you know, what move he would make to see, to see whether if I should kick it to the corner or just take the shot myself. Uh, and he bit on it, and I just had the open shot. So. Were you thinking shot the whole way though? Uh, I mean, kinda. I was looking for it because um, I had it go on this game. Uh, but I'm, I'm never selfish, you know. If there's an open guy, I'm definitely gonna keep the ball. Anybody else for Hassani? Okay, thanks, Hassani. You're good to go. Questions for Frank? Coach, defensively, you gave him a lot of trouble in the first half. What, what, what kind of change in the second half? What were you seeing there? Our inability to pass the ball to us and pass it to them instead. Our inability to come up with loose balls, they beat us to every loose ball. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I don't know how many turnovers we had. They, they had 13 steals. There's your answer. That's you know, 21 turnovers, 13 are steals, and, and now they're playing downhill at you. And we just, uh, uh, it's been a downfall all year, our inability to, to be consistently good on offense. There were a couple of plays late for Mississippi State where you know, they had the a guard to escape and get loose for, for Yeah, this just makes no sense. You know, that's that's why you know, I don't care how many games they play, that's why this coach you know, fans love freshmen, coaches like old guys. And, you know, we had a freshman just make back to back mistakes on on just discipline plays. You know. But even with all that said, it's a two point game. And Chris Silva doesn't execute the last two percent. We had the last two possessions. We had the ball. He doesn't execute either time. You know, not only the, the, the one that he can't catch a ball, make a layup, uh, but then the last play, uh, he just I don't know what he did. He, he didn't do what we asked him. We called timeout, and he didn't execute. What's different about this year's Mississippi State team compared to, to I guess when you saw them earlier in the year and compared to last year? They're old. Those kids have been together for three years now. You know, Peters is a year older. Nick Witherspoon gives him like a dynamic, you know, we did a pretty good job on him today, and then he gets loose and shoots an off-the-dribble bomb, you know, to give him the first lead. And that, you know, it's, uh, and, then, and then the biggest difference on their team is, uh, I, I never pronounce his name the right way, their center. Um, Adu. Adu, sorry about that. Because he can score at the rim. You know, in the past, their big screen and rebound and defend, but they didn't score at the rim. Uh, now they've got all that firepower from the guard spot, and they've got a bona fide score inside. And uh, uh, so they're old, you know. They're, they're just, you know, Q's been around for three years. And Q's a winner. Uh, you know, Peters is a competitive kid, and, and he's older now. You know, like the question about the mistakes my freshman made. Those are the mistakes he made last year. He's not making those this year. Uh, and uh, uh, Stapleton's an athletic kid. Uh, he, you know, Eli Wright's a year older. He, he's aggressive and athlete, and uh, the young man, number 23. I mean, every time he sees us, he just like he he just must absolutely love our uniform because he never misses against us. So, um, uh, but it's it's the biggest difference. This league is old right now. Teams like Mississippi State that were young two years ago, now they're getting old. So they they know how to win these games and. When you win these close games, your record looks a lot better than, than when you don't win. You yeah, held State's bigs to five points. Was that one of the focal points of going into this game? Yeah, we, we thought we, we, we didn't play well at home defensively. We, we, when they played on our place, we, were, we weren't very good defensively. I, we, we were better defensively today. And 
Uh, when, when, when we play like a normal basketball team on offense, because our defense is pretty good, we give ourselves a chance to win. Uh, but we second half today, we completely reverted. You know, uh, just uh, too many turnovers, too many missed assignments, um, too many opportunities to make certain shots that you got to make and didn't make them. And uh, but like I said, that's what what I said when I started. Give them, I'm happy for them. You know, it's uh, I've been coaching against them for the last that group of kids for the last three years, and I know how hard they fought and fought and fought to, to finally get to the side where. Where they're an NCAA basketball team, they just got to close out the season, and, and uh, I'm happy for them. Last call, anybody else? Okay, thank you.